Hey guys, so today I'm gonna show you how I went from this to this. It's a brand new makeup tutorial, the brand new tips that I came up with. These are my eyes before, and this is how I transformed my eyes into almond shape. These are my lips before, and this is how my lips look now. And this is my nose before, and, and I found a trick on how to get them upturned and cute. I'm gonna show you how to make your face look like you bought your face, even though you didn't, with just makeup. By the way, I did get botched lip fillers and microblading. I'm, I'm, I don't have a natural face, but I'm just saying. You should still continue watching. Step one is shaving my face. Yes, I shave my face, my mustache, my jaw. You want some oil. You want to lube up your face so that the blade glides in smoothly. And I used squillain oil. Why did I do that? That shit is so fucking expensive. I crossed half a million subs and suddenly I think I'm rich. Please don't use squillain oil like I did here. Use something cheap. Moving on to razors. I used to use a tinkle razor, but I stopped using these. Oh my God, my nails are so embarrassing. Uh -huh. I started using these instead. These are, I think, kind of professional grade, better quality blades. They are from Amazon. My face looks so clean and so smooth and I've washed my face even and look at this. I was just contemplating like, do I even show this on the internet? It's so disgusting. Like, ew, that was on my face. But I love shaving my face. It takes out all the gunk, dirt, bacteria off my face. Makes it super smooth for makeup application after. I also do my uh, brows on the top. They're forming a whole marching band on my forehead, bitch. Like what the fuck? But you can see how disgusting that is. Um, I like to shave everything. I hate hair on my face. And moving on to my mustache. Um, I personally sometimes skip shaving them because they do come a bit thicker, but I was too lazy So I went ahead and I did it, but you should tweeze your mustache area kids. The next is foundation I'm gonna school you stupid f walking on with this and this. What are you smoking crack? I'm gonna teach you something brand new that's never been taught before on YouTube marinate your foundation I've been on YouTube for two years now, I think, and I've had a lot of toenail clippings give me advice on how to match my foundation. They always go like, oh, you should match your foundation to your hands. No, to your neck. No, to your boobies. Oh, not to your feet. Oh, not to your wrist. And I'm tired of you, crusty ass mother. So I'm gonna show you what would happen if I would match my foundation to my boobers. So my boobs are really light because, you know, my boobs aren't exposed to the sun. So no way can you ever match your face to your boobs. I wanna shoot myself. And a lot of times people say, match your foundation to your face, you idiot. My face is naturally lighter to my body. My body is extremely tan and my face is not and what would happen if I just put foundation that matches my face skin I would look like this my skin and my body my face is all a different skin tone like it's just really off matching my foundation to my big puss feet my big feet Let's see how that goes. My feet's really crusty and dark. I'm sorry And if I were to match my face to my feet the, I People who ask me to match my foundation to my neck. This is not the best place to match a foundation. For example, my mom, she's old, crusty, she's 99, she might die tomorrow, God fucking knows. And everyone has wrinkly necks. And I brought myself here, you know, curling wand, we've been there, done that. And it's just not the best place to match your neck because I low-key look like I'm black fishing here. And the ones who tell you to match your foundation to your hand. Your hands tan faster, you know, they wrinkle up faster than when you age. And that's because you dry, your hands are exposed to the sun right in front of the dashboard. Boom, baby, this is how my face looks. No. Oh, matching to my wrist. This is so painful. Everyone's wrist is really light to the rest of their body. Again, this is how I would look if I were to match my foundation to my wrist. I feel like this comment would specifically come from fair and lovely supporters. The ones, you know, the ones who look like this in Indian weddings. Usually E is for effort, but in this case, it's for execute. Mm. Like people of color especially, like every part of my body is different, different shades of brown. Like literally every single part of my body is a different color. And also I tan so easily. Today, a MAC foundation might match me, tomorrow it won't. That's how my skin is. So I'm gonna teach you a very good trick. So these are the foundations that I use and you can see they look the same from the bottle. And when you swatch it, they look the same too. They're quite similar, I would say. So you have to swatch it at the store you're in, walk around the mall and come back after 45 minutes. And then after the foundation's done marinating, you can tell for yourself, look at this difference. This is a fresh application and this was and this was after 15 minutes. In 15 minutes, you can see a huge difference. The side is so oxidized, a little orange. The right place to swatch is your decolletage, as they say. That's not how they say it at all. But here's the thing. Uh, when you look at somebody, look at them from head, face, and then down to your decolletage and not your neck. Your neck kind of disappears, your face covers it, so it's no point matching it to your face. So this is my perfect foundation shade. I know, hold on, let me explain. That is extremely light. <laughs> what a caucasity, auntie. Hold on, people. <laughs> This is not a fair and lovely ad. It looks like one, but I promise you. When I first apply it, it's like a face mask. I totally get it. I can see it, okay? I'm editing this video. I can see it right in front of me. Half the face, I'm gonna apply the foundation. The other half, I'm gonna
gonna leave it as it is and I'm gonna show you a little trick shall we so five minutes and I, I can see it's kind of marinating let's wait a little bit more 10 minutes and I think it's a pretty good match in 10 minutes you can see oh my god I fucking slammed my finger so look at that fresh application is crazy it's so light but this is how it is I'm gonna freeze frame this so you can see oh my god this is such a bad freeze frame auntie what the fuck okay believe me kids try try doing this with your foundations okay my makeup is shitty my eyeshadows are so unblended but but my foundation my base is a plus people always ask me what foundation I have on I don't think it's really the foundation I think it's the application and of course if you're wearing a turtleneck that day or a scarf and you cover up your dakhultosh match your foundation to your face or your hands okay this is the next day I have foundation on my face already these are lenses from Solarica if you want them they'll be linked below and then I'm gonna pin up my hair and let's start so starting with eyebrows I make them super sleek and skinny and I stretch them out and for that I use my ColourPop micro brow pencil this is the perfect brown shade for my hair and my eyebrow hair as well so so I drag the tail all the way to the to my sideburns to be honest I drag it as much as I can this brow style would work if you want to have those sexy cat eye trend that's going on right now and they also make your eyes super lifted and the queen of cat eye obviously Kendall Jenner I tried to investigate her face I've noticed a lot of them have a lighter shadow here and they also have a really dark shadow at the outer corner of the eye this is what gives the fox eye effect and they also have shadow here the brow bone you would say is highlighted it's even uh, Megan Fox you can see she has a shiny inner corner the outsides are dark and her nose bridge connects to her brow bone I'm gonna be using this dose of colors eyeshadow palette it's one of my favorite palettes I destroyed it but I'm gonna be using this shadow um, first and I'm using a card to give me that super sleek straight look you don't want to round your shadow you don't want to go for the halo eye look you want to go for the long sexy elongated looks Look at that, you can see a straight line. And then after that, I use this white shadow and you can see I pat it on top of my brow bone so that way I have that super white line. And then I take that white shadow and I put it under. So you can see how sharp my eyes look and they're long and they're not round. And make sure your brows are straight as well. You don't want them to be round because a lot of these models have straight, super skinny brows. And that's why I changed my brows, to be honest. My brows are naturally really weird and chubby. And next I'm using this shadow. It's just a highlighter shade. Uh, I'm putting it on the inner corner as per usual. It brightens up the eye and makes you awake. I've seen this with Adriana Lima as well. So she has again highlighted, like she's queen of foxy eyes. Like look at her eyes. They're so beautiful. Again, inner corner highlight, smoke outer corner and they all have this white space on their brow bone and they have this brown shadow that connects the nose to the bridge again we're using the micro brow pencil this is this is very crucial in this makeup look I have, I have like 10 of these by the way I'm gonna show you something that no one wants to tell you the trick for cat eye is not really in the outer corner of the eye it's more on the inner corner of the eye so I kind of draw a fake shadow and imitate this that a lot of models have I mimic the shadow that they all have under their eyeball so I drag it and I pull the inner corners forward and make it look more feline and I I use brown guys this is so important use brown do not use black when you do black <laughs> you end up looking like one of these Bollywood actresses trust me I've been there done that sweetie you do not want to look like this <laughs> and you keep dragging them for days and you end up like this like uh, I've done it when I was like 10 okay don't do this you want to use brown so it's more soft it's more subtle and it can look like that's your natural inner corner and then I'm using the NYX wonder pencil in the shade medium um, it's just a beige pencil really you can see I'm literally fucking stabbing myself because I was dying it wasn't sharp and I just put that on my waterline next for mascara I use this mascara guys this one is um, better than love and it's not better than sex try getting the one that says better than love it's much better than better than sex oh my god I'm so freaking what did I just say okay look at this mascara this is better than sex. <laughs> This is better than love. They both suck. None of them are better than actual sex. Like the sex sex, you know what I mean? So yeah, but I'm just saying, if you're gonna get this mascara they're from Too Faced, they get the one that says better than love instead of better than sex. Wow, I just got demonetized. Thank you guys so much for watching. And you can see one eye versus the sloppy Walmart version of a poxy eye on this side. Um, I love this cat eye. This side is beautiful. For lashes, I just take one lash like, and I chop it up and, and I use them on the corners of my eye. So I'm trying to mix up my fake lashes with the real one with mascara.
One last step, I'm gonna be taking some white shadow and apply it right under my brow bone and um, connecting my nosy nose. My secret to a lot of these tips and tricks is literally just zooming into these um, celebrities' pictures and figuring out what they're what they've done with shadows and light. And I just copy paste that to my face. Really, these are my top two bronzers: the NYX bronzer and the Mac one. It's the dark deep bronzer. Whatever face bronzer you use, you must use the same bronzer for your nose, so that way your nose contour doesn't stand out. So I'm just gonna contour my nose really quick. And this is my biggest tip ever do not ever apply nose contour on the bottom of your nose people do that to shorten their nose but it makes your nose stand out even more so this is what I do and I just cut my nose on the top and this makes my nose look uplifted so you want to keep your nose matte do not keep them shiny stop putting highlighter on the tip of your nose like a Rudolph are you fucking stupid so these are the two highlighters um, that I like personally they are very natural this is the dose of colors highlighter they are super natural so this is soft and gentle and it's really fucking soft and gentle all right <laughs> it's really soft and nice this is this is bad this is a bad highlighter that i got from ColourPop because as you can see as i'm swatching it super glittery glitter particles all over don't use that you should watch this quick video i have on my channel about nose job i'm going to quickly run through it a lot of people do this um they darken up their nose the sides of their nose they contour the top the bottom they contour the whole nose like it's the, your nose is just brown at the end of the day and it just doesn't sit with the rest of your face and i've noticed a lot of celebrities do this and they apply a shit ton of highlighter right like on top of your nose your bridge and at the end sweetie this is how you look your nose is the center of attraction why are you applying highlighter on the tip of your nose you apply it on your cheeks for your cheeks to pop so why would you apply that on your nose do you want your nose to pop i don't think so i just took some foundation powder cleaned out my nose it looks better now it looks tinier than before watch this video it's linked below um, i explain it better there moving on to bronzer um again i'm gonna be bronzing on my face the secret to making your cheeks look more full like i've seen when they smile a lot of celebrities have this kind of curve under their cheek i feel like this kind of contour under your cheek makes your cheeks pop more than ever i'm gonna show you how to get that so all you have to do is to get some brown shadow uh, carve out your cheeks and I, and then I take one of these foundation powders this is my Mac and this one is my Sephora powder I'm gonna go in with my Sephora powder for now and I'm gonna put it all over this drawing that we just have on my face right now Finally, moving on to highlighting. Research says the heart face shape is the most ideal, desired face shape, the most attractive face shape. Celebrities who don't have a heart shape try to do their makeup and make it look like they have a heart shape. So I'm just gonna apply it right where I want it to be a heart, the forehead, under eye, and I'm gonna take a flat brush like this and sipple it out. You can also use concealers that are like of your skin color, but I wanted to brighten up my under eye, my chin, my forehead, so I decided to use a brightening concealer. I wanted to put this clip in here as well. A lot of celebrities, if you can see, their shadows are placed in such a way that when, when any kind of light falls on their face, it's an automatic heart shape on their face. So whenever I try to do my makeup, I try to recreate an invisible heart. And after a lot of layers of foundation and powder, your brows do disappear at the end. So just go back with a brow pencil and make them a bit dark and define them a little bit. And moving on to my highlighter, I'm gonna apply this all over my cheeks. This step is so basic. Moving on to my lips, you know it's a concoction. I'm not gonna be using one lipstick. I think you're new here. I use literally, I use 10 products. You're gonna see it. So I'm using my MAC Mahogany Lip Liner first, overlining my lips, filling in my lips with MAC Hover. I kind of draw like a fake smile. Like I pull out my lips like a joker and a new pair of lips, I think. A lip skin? What do you what do you call that? I'm so out of words right now. But also clean up my lips with concealer. And then after that, when you thought I was done, I'm not. And then for lipstick, I'm using Morphe Toast lips liquid, liquid lipstick. I'm putting it all over my lips, and then I'm going with a lighter one. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I have oh my god. I'm applying blush now. Are you kidding me? I'm applying blush to my lips. We're still not done. We're not done with the lips. I'm applying some blush. It's called it's burnt pepper, folks. Um, and trust me, apply blush to your lips. Okay, that thing lasts for. Ever. We're finally done. This is my finished makeup look. Uh, I forgot to apply blush to my cheeks though, so I'm gonna go back with the same blush, the Born Pepper, and I'm gonna apply that all over my face. If you have layers of makeup like I do, you have to set your makeup and you want that to dissolve as well. But I'm using the Milani setting spray, it's one of the best setting sprays ever to melt in the makeup into my face and, and that's how my makeup looks like skin sometimes up close, yeah. No, it doesn't, it's really cakey, I'm sorry. If you have any questions or queries on my techniques, don't leave them below, keep it. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. And also follow my Instagram, it's Nancy Twinkle.